Hello everybody, my name is Gademar and welcome to NHL 9. We're gonna uh, start this series up guys. Um, this is gonna be a new series for the channel. Now I know I was probably supposed to play Civ 6. I'm probably gonna take a break on Civ 6 for a bit because I'm always struggling for some reason to get uh, things done with the audio or something. There's always a problem. Uh, on the last video for Civ 6 there wasn't any problem per se but Still, it kind of pisses me off to always have to edit it, edit more than I usually do just because of audio problems. So I'm going to just switch for a new series here because of The Walking Dead, is it's over. So I chose this game right here, NHL 9. Why? Because it's a great game. It's my probably one of my favorites NHLs of all time, all right? Actually, I'm lying because NHL 10 is basically the same game with the same roster. Uh, almost uh, except it's updated so maybe NHL 10 is better but I don't have it so I'm playing 9 <laughs> that's all it is guys so I already went ahead and um, we're gonna go to jump right away into this dynasty mode which is the GM mode we're gonna play GM mode for this uh, series guys obviously four minutes rookie current uh, no salary cap, uh, I'm going to tell you why in a second guys, because it's going to be too complicated uh, if there's the salary on. Um, penalties all the way down, I want no touching high scene just like in real life and I also want CPU trades, sure. No coach, edit, uh, assistance coach uh, edit lines, we're fine on that, best of 7 and we're good. Now what the, f the thing I want to do here is that uh, I am going to do something special. There's uh, the in this game there's this is historical team for the Montreal Canadiens because it, it was a hundred years now at that point it was a hundred years that Montreal Canadiens were a thing uh, the oldest team in the league obviously they're even older than the league itself so uh, it was uh, in honor of them that they put the historical team I put all of the historical players into the free agency so we are going to be able to sign these guys uh, all the legends and stuff in this series uh, but I have uh, a compromise for that so just so I don't cheat per se and get all the players I could just sign all the players and get them on a team I don't I won't do that and I've got a way a special way to not do that so the team we're going to play as is the Trashers, the Atlanta Trashers. Why? Because they don't exist anymore and I kind of wanted to play a team that don't exist anymore uh, just for the fun of it. So our best player right now is Elia Kovalchuk. That's going to change in a, in a second or maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to go ahead and put my name there uh, as the GM just to be sure. So let's just me put my name. I'm so excited to play this game guys, it's going to be so much different, you're going to see, uh, it's, it's old gen, so obviously it's going to be a lot different uh, from the new gen games, the new gen games are okay nowadays, I'm not like uh, Superman, all right? I'm not like 2BC uh, production, I actually enjoy quite a lot the new versions, but yes, the older versions for gem mode, not the gameplay, the gameplay are... It's boring compared to the next, uh, the new generation. The gameplay is much better in the new generation. But for GM mode, the modes in itself, GM mode, Beer Pro, these stuffs are better in the old gen, which is what we're playing right now. Let's advance. We're good. Uh, Chicago Wolves are going to be our actual AHL team, which is kind of interesting because it's Chicago, so they should probably be the AHL team uh, affiliate of. Uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, but oh well. All right, so here goes. Here's the how the menu. I gotta press pause to get the menu and everything. So I don't know if you, some of you remember that, but the simulation goes really fast. This is one of the things that makes it so that it's not that good the GM mode in the new games because it goes so slow the simulation and everything that you take forever to just go for one year. Over here you get trade offers, you get notification off offers, you get everything and it still goes pretty fast. So that's pretty good. First thing we're going to do, look at our roster moves, who we got in our team. I already scouted previously, I already checked at that, how it looked and everything. So our centers, we're going to do just like our regular let's plays guys for uh, other, other ones. 
Now there's a, a little bit of a difference here. Um, we gotta put here, this guy right here. There we go. We did. Uh, Brian Nettle, you're gonna go in here. We got one too many centers, way too many centers actually. Uh, as you can see right here, I cannot just uh, simply get a guy and put it right there. I gotta scratch him first on the lineup in order to, for me to get rid of him. So one, two, three, four, we're fine on the left wing. Uh, right wing, we're gonna need this guy right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six defensemen, we're gonna need Valabic right here. Okay, okay, so here's the thing. We're gonna need to go for coaching options, edit lines right here. See how quick it is for the menu as well? It goes really quick, that's what I like about it. Okay, no, I don't want that. Um, just quick best lines really quick. We're gonna arrange that in a later position. Okay, so this is what they wanted to do. This is a left wing. He's not a left. He's not a left wing. Hang on. Let's go back again. Roster moves. This is the first thing we gotta do in this video. There's not gonna be a lot of simulation. We're just gonna need to focus on our other stuff, the better stuff, really. Focus on working with our our player so Bolton got acclaimed by another team that's fine by me one two three four five six seven no deny there we go he's got a two-way so we're good on that part let's see what we got else so for a seventh defenseman we're not gonna pick anybody up just yet I feel like uh, we're gonna go for a defenseman uh, for a free agency you're gonna see what I'm, uh, I'm talking about Let's see what we got. Lettonen, Edberg. So these are our two goaltenders right here, guys. I think we're good. So overwise for the um, the the lineups, the lineups are fine as it is. So we're gonna keep it like that. I want to see real quick. Okay, so this guy doesn't is not gonna grow. This guy's still gonna grow. So perfect. We're gonna keep him there. Here we go. Here's all the legends we got, guys, from Montreal. The legends of Montreal. Um, Really excited to uh, have them in a series. That's really good. So, uh, Beliveau, Lafleur, Richard, Morenz, uh, Robinson, Jeff Neon, RV, uh, uh, Richard, the uh, second one, the uh, old, uh, the youngest one, uh, uh, Henri, uh, Savard, Cornoyer, Dicky Moore, Steve Schott, Lemaire, Gainey, Toe Blake, Lapointe, Bouchard. La Perrière, and that's about it. All right, for uh, forward wise and goaltenders, the three legends uh, there's Lada, which is the based player, the, the said player that they put every year, so she doesn't count, she's a 98 overall. Uh, Dryden, Patrick Roy, and Jacques Plante. So, here we go, guys. All right, here's all the goaltenders as well. We are going to start with the goaltenders. Now, how I want to work this out is the players that are interested in me are the ones that I got to go for. I cannot go for the players that are not interested in me. All right. I am not allowed to do that. So any free agents at all, any players in free agency or anything that are not interested in me, I can't go for them. So that's how it's going to work. And um, seems like all the goaltenders are interested in me. It has got to be at least half a bar. And if they're half a bar interested in me, minimum, then uh, if it's only half a bar, I'm going to have to at least give them a little bit more money to convince them. All right. I'm going to need a little bit more money, but I can only go as far as uh, one million more in dollars um, to sign them and nothing else. All right. So I can only go one million more for a player. That's going to make a little bit more of a challenge when it comes down to signing people. It's going to be really interesting. So I want to pick between one of these three guys. Obviously, some of you might tell me go for Roy or go for uh, Plant. I don't want to go for Dryden because I think Dryden was very uh, overrated. In my opinion, Dryden is really overrated. He had a really great team. He's probably had he probably had the greatest team of all time in front of him, and that's why he did so well. Uh, so I think Dryden is kind of overrated. Uh, Hua is really great. Uh, obviously, he's the second best goaltender in the 
in the history of the league, but Jacques Plante, I think, is probably on par with Price. I'd say Price is the best goaltender of all time of Montreal, but uh, Plante um, was the best for a long time. I think Plante should be the one in our team, guys. Especially having a goaltender without a mask on our team would be pretty good. We're awesome. So let's go for Jacques Plante, guys. The one that has the most money as well. So here's the thing. We also gotta figure this out. So what do we need here? Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Okay, so five years is going to be 31 years of age. Six years is going to be 32 years of age. I want to get him to six years. I want to have a great, great goaltender for all these years. And obviously, six years, he cannot go for... We're going to try to get him, guys, for 9.575 uh, million. Let's see if we can't get him. It's all I already told you. It's uh, usually when you upgrade, yeah, it should be good enough like this. So I should be good. He's interested in me, so we'll see if he wants to sign with us. We just uh, try them out. Defenseman, now here's our op our option right here. Uh, the one I want to go for. So let's see who's not interested in us. First off, okay, they're all interested in me, so that's pretty good. Robinson is probably the greatest defenseman of all time of Montreal. So I should probably go for him, guys. To be honest, I should probably go for Robinson. I'm definitely going to go for him. He's the greatest one. So I'm going to go for the greatest one. Oh, no. Hold on now. There we go. So four years, that's three. I'm going to go for 32 at 9.95. Uh, oh, that should do it. I should do it. Uh, I'm not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see how it goes. Um, 9.5. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna work out. I think it should. Hopefully, it should. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's try it out. If he doesn't want to come back. If he doesn't want to sign, that's too. We're gonna try for five years or something like that. Uh, and uh, now forward-wise, here's what we gotta we gotta choose one forward. Uh, we should probably go for Bidivel, obviously the greatest player of all time, in Montreal, 99 overall. But uh, he's not my favorite character. He's not my favorite player. My favorite player of all time, obviously, is Maurice Richard, the Rocket. But should I go for him? We don't need a right winger. We don't need a center. And what we need the most is a left winger. So I'm thinking we're going to go for a left winger. And the best left winger already scouted was definitely Dickie Moore is the best left winger. So we're going to go for a left winger, guys. That's what we need the most right now. Um, Dickie Moore is interested in us. Uh, Steve Schott as well. Ganey and Toe Blake. We could go for Toe Blake just for the fun. But uh, I feel like Dickie Moore is the best player out of all of them. So let's go for Dickie Moore, guys. Uh, that's going to put him up to two, uh, 32 years of age. 30. Hold on. No, no, that's 32 years of age if I do that. Yeah, all right. We should be good. So 9.850. There we go. We need to be on par. So let's just see if that's going to work out, guys. Hopefully it works out for us. And uh, let's see how, it go how it's going to go. See how all of this is going to go. Now we obviously um, need to go for the scout first. Let's look at the scout. So this is how the scout works. You got to go for scout, uh, forward, defenseman, goalies, all of this. You got all the, the different countries as well. We're going to first off go for Canada first round. I think we're good. So we can start simulating. Wait until somebody tries to start basically going with us or signing with us. Hopefully all three of them accept our proposition. But we'll see how it goes, guys. I'm very limited in the thing. So we got Jacques Plant. Lar uh, Robinson and Dickie Moore. All three of them signed with us. So that's really good. 
Uh, we are the only one who signed a legend so far, but it's not gonna take too much time, guys. Without the salary cap off, usually the teams go right away for these uh, big time players. Okay, everything should be good now, guys. Yeah, here we go. So I managed to uh, save everything. We're good on all of it. So there's no way for us to tell whether there's a player, not that I know of, whether there's a player that, uh, how many players we got in our, our contract, basically. So that's going to have to be another thing. Jersey numbers. I got to make sure that they've got the right jersey numbers for my players. Number 12, number one. Okay, I think we're good. We are good on that. Our legends are there. We should be all right. Another thing as well, practice mode is a thing in this game, obviously. And player training, so player training as you can see. We can actually choose what our player trained trained for. Like, what is this? Why doesn't the new game, newer games have that? That's the one thing I want to complain about, is the newer games don't have any of that, which is ridiculous. So we can focus on what the player should focus. You know, makes a little bit of sense, don't it? So all of this, um, skater, Dicky Moore, what should you focus on? Skater general? Hmm. I don't know. So what does he have? Speed? Okay. I'm going to let them uh, focus on whatever they want, I guess, uh, because uh, puck control. Does he need puck control? Rebound control and everything. I don't think he needs it, but... You know what? Let's we'll f we'll let them uh, their confidence build up by this. Let's build their strategy first. Uh, pressure normal, tight point. Nope. I want staggered. Diamond. Let's try diamond first. See how it goes. Four check. One two two low. Two 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 high. Uh, I'm gonna say two one two. No. One two two low. I guess one two two low is fine. Standard offensive presser. I want standard aggressive. Um, we got a good team, but I feel like not good enough. So standard overlord for sure. Overlord, all right. And yeah, I guess I guess overlord for all of them. Shooting, power play shooting for sure. And I think we're good. That's it. It's as simple as that, guys. Simple as that. We got the 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 uh, stats as well. We got all of this. We're gonna save the franchise really quick. Just save really quick. There we go. And it's now that it's save. We can start simulating. All right. We can start simulating. Oh wait on. We got a couple of signings here. Signings. So let's see what we got. Obviously we signed all of these three guys. Let's see who got what. So Guy Lafleur is going to Pittsburgh. Holy shit! All right. So we gotta get. Crosby, Malkin, and uh, Lafleur, guys, all together. They've got uh, the Rocket with them as well. Yikes. So Lafleur, the Rocket, and Malkin and Crosby. So Malkin and Crosby both have a right winger that is a filthy sniper with them. That is disgusting. They're going to be unstoppable, guys. Uh, and uh, Serge Savard over there for the defenseman-wise on the Ottawa so let's go with first 10 games so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 first 10 games guys all right here we go let's go for that let's see how it's gonna go see how fast it simulates B much faster it's not fast fast but uh, Joe Moxo has been injured with a sore knees estimated return Who's the Matsko? Oh, he's in there. Okay. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, just do that. You're fine. All right, so we got already an injury over there in uh, in the AHL. So 2-1. Uh, okay, so we got uh, Toscala. Toscala, the goaltender. Uh, they, Ma Toronto wants to get rid of them. He's in the waivers. Yikes. We got a couple of waivers. Actually, we got two of them. So Toscala and Nickel. Nickel, I'm not interested in Nickel. He's not going to be a good player anyways. Don't, I'm not interested in him. Loop, uh, let's view his player info, I guess. He's better than our goaltender we have currently, but do we really need him? 
I don't think we do, guys. I don't think we need that goaltender. We got 33 wins per se. Uh, um, he's doing all right. He's doing all right, as you can see. Saving um, percentage. Oh yeah, it's pretty good goaltender, but it's not. I mean, look at this. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I don't need him. I don't. I don't need these two players, guys. I'm not gonna go for them. Not gonna go for these guys. All right, let's see what we got. Two and three. Chris Mason. Isn't that a goaltender? That's a goaltender. Yeah, we don't need him. We don't need goaltenders, guys. Let's continue. So two and three. Not the best start, but not the worst one as well. So we're good on that one. Sammy Salo. Now that's a defenseman, and that's gonna help out our defense if we pick him up. Uh, so we definitely want to pick him up. He's already got. Look at this. He's already got tw nine points in seven games. This guy is ridiculously good, and I like the fact that another thing, they actually when you look at their season stats, you can also uh, get a point, get a look at their career points overall. Be it, at least it's a momentum because once you finish the season off, you cannot see the retirements, but you can see for sure. Uh, the career points while they're playing so that's really good. I want this guy for sure. Yes uh, I want this guy so Salo get in here right now So let's continue simulation. So we just upgraded our, uh, our defense just like that with the waivers on Obviously, I'm gonna need to check uh, who signed who but uh, we'll see eventually a uh, is back Let's get him back in here there we go. And that's 10 games already. There we go. There's 10 games. So after 10 games where we have a record of... Hang on. That's... Okay, no. That's... um. We got to do this like this. This is the 10th game. Oh, we lost it. All right. After 10 games, we, are re we have a record of 4-4-2. Four, four, Not good, guys. Not too good. The best player of the league right now is Brendan Morrow, of all people. 20 points already. And this is what one of the things you're gonna see in this game is people are gonna produce a lot. All right, so I want to see really quick who did what um, reports, maybe team reports. I want to see what what has been happening in the league. Hmm. Uh, where should I get that? Where did I get the team reports? No, I don't. That's not what I'm gonna get. That okay. Maybe I can only get that from here. Anybody sign anybody? I don't think so. Let me just... Uh, Rycroft, okay. It's passed a long time ago, so I don't think we're going to see anybody. All right, so... Right now, as you can see, we're 10th uh, in the Eastern Conference. We've got to be at least 8. It's the 8th first team. It's still like that at its work in the easy years. Uh, let's just look at our players right now. Best players that uh, who did, who is doing good for us? The best scorer is Kovalchuk, tied up with uh, Dicky Moore. So both our left wingers have seven goals in ten games. We've got our best player is Christensen, sixteen points in uh, ten games, guys. Christensen, I think he's our first lineup. He's on the fr no, he shouldn't be on the first line, right? Should probably be Brian Little. I think it's Brian Little on the first line. Anyways, all right. So pretty good, pretty good. Our defenseman, our best defenseman so far is uh, Salo, which is interesting. He's playing better than uh, Robinson. Very interesting. In goaltender wise, let's see. So Jacques Plante is the only one that uh, gold uh, in this game so far. No, the uh, the Ledonen, which is our Backup did not go so far. Did not go uh, uh, go a single game. He's 90 per saving percentage. He's not doing too good. He's struggling a little bit. All right, so I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's just go another 10 games. So two, four, six, eight, ten right there. So all the way up to the. Uh, What's it called? The Capitals, the Washington Capitals game. Hopefully, we're going to do better here. Your NHL team has sustained multiple injuries. Oh, really now? Oh, that's not good at all. Hold on now. So, who got injured? 
Oh, that's not good at all. So who's injured? I, I, I gotta see real quick. Just gotta see real quick who's injured. There we go. And uh, defenseman? Why does it say multiple? No, our goaltenders are fine. It's not multiple people. Okay, uh, we gotta replace him in multiple places. Hang on. Let's get him back. Please. Slater, you're going there. There we go. He, was he playing anywhere else? No. Okay, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Well, here we go then. Let's continue simulating. We got an injury on the right wing position. Slater is playing there now. Let's see what we got, guys. Can we win? That's already, already almost three wins in a row. Uh, not almost, but definitely. So we've got a trade offer right away. Just like that. So the Ducks, Anaheim Ducks, want to give us Matt Schneider for Ron Enzi directly just like that. Really, they just want to... Why would they do that? Schneider is much better than Ron Enzi, as you can see. So why would they... I'm going to accept the trade. It's a little bit more difficult for when you get an injury. It's a little bit... takes more time, basically, to do stuff. But it's okay, guys. Crosby is now in the top, as you can see. Um, and a win? No, we lost. So this is our first loss in a long time. Actually, two losses in a row now. So we're starting to have a um, bit of a problem here. But there we go. We win against Pittsburgh. And I think we won against uh, Columbus as well. There's a, a waiver. Mike Raji. Uh, let's view him. Nope. He's an old player. We don't need these guys. We don't need old players for our team. And I think we're good. Okay, so there's a simulation after 20 games now. 10, 6, and 4. We're doing good. We're doing decent enough. Sixth position, for 24 points. Best player of the league so far is Le Cavalier with 36 points. Uh, Crosby, Maurice, uh, Richard, Lafleur, and Morrow. Morrow is still in the top. I don't know how that's possible, guys. I really don't. All right, let's just see who's in the free agency. I want to see who didn't get signed. Okay, so they, they all got signed. Yeah, okay, all of them except Lada. Lada did not get signed, guys. That's interesting. All right, so let's just go. I guess first thing we're going to do is look at our scouts. Scout Central. Uh, yeah, Scout Central. So we definitely know where they are. So rank change. They didn't change the ranks at all or whatever. Okay, so they're all good here. Now we got to look at Denmark. I don't know where that would be. Europe, basically. For centers. So forwards, centers. Let me just see if we know a lot about... No, okay. So definitely that. That's the next thing we got to look for. A goalies. Do we need... Do, do we know a lot about the goalies? Hmm. Actually, goalies could be a good change. Let's go take a look at the goalies first. So goalies, actually, first... Oh, one, two. Oh, no, we got to look at Clemenson first, guys. Goalies, uh, they're going to have to wait. So, we're going to have to go forward, um, forward for Europe, I guess. Scandinavia? Oh, I guess it's uh, Scandinavia. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Scandinavia. Let's go for them. Let's go at what we have. Uh, roster moves, I think we're good. Uh, that's all good. Player training. Progress reports. Anybody that grew? Just really quick, confidence, as you can see, all their confidence. Plant is doing all right. Lieutenant doesn't have too much confidence. XP earned, not a lot of uh, XP earned. Player training, player reports. Okay, so let's just look at the stats. What? Who's doing what for us? Who's the, doing very fine for us? So best score, Kovalchuk now. Definitely is going on top. So 11 goals in 20 games played. Uh, slowing down, not as much goals as uh, we used to have. Best player, Christensen Seal with 24 points. Uh, Kovalchuk, 23 points, so he's doing fine. Uh, Dicky Moore, 19 points. Now, what I want, I, he's 90 plus, so I want him to absolutely have more points than games. So he's struggling right now. Uh, Larson, uh, Robinson should... Um, 
Yeah, he's doing all he's doing all right because he's defenseman, so I'm good with that. Salo is doing fine. Salo is doing as good as Robinson somehow. I don't. Some of these players are just hidden, guys. Some of these players are just ridiculously good, and we've got Schneider as well now. And look at the the goalies. So goalies still. Jacques Plant is the only goalie that gold. So he played all 20, 20 games. I guess he's gonna play all of the games almost. 10 games, uh, 10 wins, 10 losses, still 90 percentage, still struggling. Not having the best year. Kind of need him to not play all the games. That would probably help out, wouldn't it? Let me just see the settings really quick. Uh, goalie rotations, is it in there? It's not a thing. I don't think it's a thing. No, I don't think it's a thing, guys, so... They should be good with the goalie rotation. They should have a goalie rotation, but oh well. Anyways, we're gonna stop it right here. Uh, we're doing all right with the stats. Let me just actually see the team. Because I didn't look at the team stats. So here we are right here. Sixth position. Uh, wins. That's not what I want to look. Goals four per game. So let's see. So um, I actually want to go look at this. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eighth position. So we're doing really good. Goals for per game. We're definitely scoring goals. Goals against per game. One, two, three, four. So we're not giving too many goals. We're doing fine. Yeah, we're doing fine. Goals against. Um, yeah, we're not doing giving too many goals. So that's really good for us. Uh, power play. Power play goals. Okay, so power play. How is it? Which position is that? 15 in power play. We're doing all right. 15 is okay. It's in the middle. So, all right. Anything else? Let's see what we got. Penalty kill. Penalty kill is uh, eighth in position. So we're doing all right for all of them. Okay. We're doing all right, guys. So... I'm going to stop it right here. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's going to be really interesting for me uh, to play a different game. Different way really of playing things. We got all these legends bring up into the game. That make uh, things a little bit ch more challenging. And I've got all these things where as I said earlier with the signing. Uh, the way I'm going to sign players. A lot different is going to be a lot more uh, challenging as well. All of this is going to be awesome for us, guys. I'm telling you. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you all for the next one. Keep it easy.